to be honest, um, when I saw it, I was horrified uh, because uh, given the fact that this government has done every, uh, a lot of things to do with disability and awareness, the, fa the fact that, that, a, that a newspaper uh, could use those words um, and, and could be so blasé about it, it, it's rather saddening and shocking. Is there no room for benefit of doubt that the newspaper did not intend the offence that clearly has been taken? Absolutely, but it is not necessarily the, the level of offence, but those words should not be in use, given the fact those, those words haven't been used since the 1950s. You say in your press release that the convention, the UN Convention on the Rights of People with Disabilities would eradicate such language, but would it really, given that uh, the term exists? Yes, it would, because that, that, that language that was used in the article is, is legal language. That, that, that is still in use today, but if we, if we change the, the, the legal language that, that the UN Convention would bring in, because uh, right now disabled people are seen as the medical model, which is something to be solved. And the, the UN Convention brings in the social models. So the to total shift changed and total different uh, viewpoint. What would you ask the newspaper to do about this? Uh, please, I would ask them to re retract and understand why we've taken such an offence. Because, to, uh, to be honest, uh, the government has has done loads of things in terms of, of awareness, but it begs the question, where's the awareness gone? Because clearly something's failing.